Apple making a foldable phone was always inevitable, like taxes or your phone slipping out of your hand the moment you remove the case. But Apple making a foldable phone this way? That's where things get spicy because, according to Fresh Leaks, Apple isn't just testing the waters anymore. They're allegedly dropping the iPhone Fold right next to the iPhone 18 Pro, powered by a 2 nanometer A20 Pro chip with Touch ID making a comeback like it never left Cupertino. And the wild part is, the more you look at these leaks, the more this doesn't feel like Apple experimenting. This feels like Apple saying, we watched everyone else struggle, now step aside. And there's one decision here that completely explains why Apple waited so long, but I promise you'll appreciate it way more once everything else clicks. Foldables have technically been around forever in tech years. Samsung's on what feels like the Galaxy Fold 12 Ultra Mega Edition by now. Google dipped a toe in, Huawei went full mad scientist, and yet foldables are still that thing people admire in stores, but baby like a newborn once they buy one. They crease, they crack, they cost rent money, and somehow they still feel unfinished. So when Apple finally enters a category this late, it's never because they're behind, it's because they want to be the company that turns a cool niche gadget into something your cousin accidentally buys and then won't shut up about at dinner. That's why this matters right now. This isn't Apple chasing foldables. This is Apple deciding it's time to end the waiting game. Let's talk about the engine, because Apple doesn't move without silicon confidence. According to the leaks, the iPhone 18 Pro, Pro Max, and the Fold are all expected to run the A20 Pro chip built on a 2 nanometer process. And yes, that's as absurdly small as it sounds. Early projections suggest around 15% more performance and nearly 30% better power efficiency compared to A19, which is Apple's polite way of saying, relax, your battery won't panic anymore. Especially important when your phone literally unfolds into a small tablet. But the sneaky genius move here is how Apple might be building this chip. The A20 Pro is rumored to use wafer-level multi-chip module packaging, meaning the RAM is integrated directly onto the same wafer as the CPU and GPU. In normal human language, that means faster communication between components, lower latency, better efficiency, and oh, this is the real win, poor, more free space inside the phone. And on a foldable, free space is luxury real estate. That's room for a bigger battery, better cooling, or something Apple hasn't told us about yet because they enjoy suspense. Oh, and yes, 12 gigabytes of RAM across the Pro lineup. No weird segmentation games this time. Now let's unfold the Fold because this is where Apple's personality really shows. The iPhone Fold is rumored to use a book-style design with a 7.8-inch internal display and a 5.3-inch external screen not a square, not a stretched TV remote, a size that actually makes sense for human hands. When unfolded, it's reportedly about 4.5 millimeters thin and when folded, around 9 to 9.5 millimeters, which is impressive, slightly scary, and definitely going to make case manufacturers sweat. But the headline detail, Apple may be chasing a near crease-free display, and if that's even mostly true, the entire foldable market just sat up straight. Add to that the fact that Apple might skip Face ID entirely on the fold and bring back Touch ID, likely on the power button, and suddenly everything clicks. Face ID on a folding device is a nightmare of angles and sensors. Touch ID is simple, reliable, boring in the best Apple way. This isn't nostalgia, it's practicality pretending to be restrained. When you compare this approach to Samsung's Galaxy Fold, the difference is philosophical. Samsung experiments loudly. Apple refines quietly. Samsung wants to show you what's possible. Apple wants to decide what's acceptable. And that's why these leaks line up so neatly with what longtime supply chain watchers and outlets like 9to5Mac have hinted at for years 
Apple didn't skip foldables because they couldn't make one. They skipped them because they didn't want to make a bad one. Add Apple's own C2 modem into the mix, tighter hardware integration, and projections of 250 million iPhone shipments in 2026 during a shrinking smartphone market. And this starts looking less like optimism and more like controlled arrogance. Here's my slightly controversial take. I don't think the iPhone Fold is trying to replace your phone. I think it's quietly coming for your iPad. The size, the Touch ID decision, the book style multitasking. This feels less like a phone that happens to fold and more like an iPad mini that got ambitious. And launching it alongside the iPhone 18 Pro lineup instead of giving it a weird standalone event is Apple's smartest move yet. That sends one clear message. This isn't an experiment. This is just another iPhone. And that's way more dangerous for the competition than any flashy demo. Now let's calm down before we pre-order imaginary phones. These leaks come from Jeff Pugh, who is known for being enthusiastic with timelines. So yes, salt. Plenty of it. Price is also going to hurt. There is zero universe where Apple prices this gently. And durability is still the elephant doing parkour in the room. Apple can engineer perfection in a lab, but gravity does not respect brand loyalty. One bad hinge moment, and the internet will turn into a courtroom. So here's the bottom line. If these leaks are even mostly accurate, the iPhone fold isn't Apple chasing a trend. It's Apple deciding the market is finally ready for them, the A20 Pro, the smarter fold design, the return of Touch ID. This feels deliberate, confident, and slightly smug. The real question is whether Apple makes foldables boring in the best possible way. So tell me, would you actually buy an iPhone fold or is this still too scary for daily life? Drop a comment, hit like if you want a deeper breakdown the moment more leaks land, and subscribe if you want to stay ahead of Apple's next move. Because if this thing is real, 2026 is about to be very uncomfortable for everyone else. See you next one. Peace out.